Richard Southern joins us now to talk about some of the day's more unusual stories. And it doesn't get much stranger than this, Richard. Sometimes I can't believe what I'm reading here. Cows entering the world of virtual reality. Explain this. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you could say it's an utterly crazy story. Nice. Utterly. I'm milking it for all sorts. Uh, have you ever tried on the VR goggles? They're really cool. Uh, yeah, I have. I They're very immersive. Uh, you can get lost in it. You sure can, and they're not just for humans anymore. They're putting them now, dairy farmers, on cows. Look at that. <laughs> Is this a real photo? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's real. It's a dairy farm in Russia, Erica. And, yeah, they're specially designed for the, the cow's head. And you know what they're looking at? They're looking at things like the, the cows like, like beautiful uh, pastures and fields. And they're doing this to help the cows produce more milk. The dairy farmers say when the cows have the VR goggles, goggles on, they're happier, they're less stressed, and they produce more milk. And I guess, you know, that's great. I mean, I wish we could have them in those real pastures. But I guess if they believe they're there, maybe that's that's just as good, America. I don't I, know. <laughs> I don't know. The cow is just trying to, you know, just trying to live, and you're putting goggles on it. Just leave the cow alone, I think. All right. Uh, it appears Game of Thrones is making a comeback, but this one won't be on our TVs, Richard. Oh, boy. Uh, Game of Thrones Broadway play is in the works. A lot of people are going to be excited by this, no doubt. Whenever it is, hopefully soon, when he'll go back to the theater. Hollywood Reporter says George R. R. Martin is currently writing and putting together this play, which they say will bring back fan favorites like Ned Stark and Jamie Lannister. The as yet untitled play will be set 16 years before the TV show that we're looking at here. And the production, it says, will boast a story centered around love, vengeance, madness, and the dangers of dealing with in prophecy were you hooked on the show erica have you I, seen it totally i was completely hooked and i've been re-watching it recently actually are they going to break out in song is that what's happening <laughs> it said play not musical okay. but we'll have to see about that i mean <laughs> I, I i don't know i like the i like the the dragon queen i don't know if they're going to bring her back she Daenerys, was my favorite yeah yes. she was great all right and finally nobody likes being called out by their mom and apparently even music stars aren't immune to that Justin Bieber, Stratford's very own Justin Bieber. You know he likes his tattoos, eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, he got a got a new one over the weekend on his neck. It was a peach, which we think is after his, you know, he's a new song on his album called Peaches. Anyways, Bieber's mom, he posted this Bieber, and his mom chimed in on, on Instagram, and she said, quote, don't you have enough yet? Be mom not too happy with that. And I don't know. I only have one tattoo here. Do you like, do you like tattoos, Erica, first off? I do, yes. This is the one I just got. Oh, goodness. Listen, this is how dedicated I am to this. I, I believe in the segment. appreciate that. That's very, that's dedication right there. I hope you don't find that creepy because this is how much I, I like mean, the segment. my face on your skin? I don't know. <laughs> Knowing my luck, now the segment will get canceled tomorrow and I'll have to get that lasered off. But don't, that's my new ink. That's uh, my new ink. Very nice. Very nice, Richard. Okay, thanks. <laughs> we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Maybe you can show us your new ink again. Oh, boy. See you tomorrow. Bye.